Hey everybody, welcome to the cave. Just throwing you an update out there, what's going on. Uh, I had it in my mind, the Bell and Carlson was going to get the 22-250, the ER Shaw. Uh, While well, that was way getting threaded for the suppressors, I decided to throw the 223 heavy barrel on. This is a uh, Savage stock barrel, factory barrel. Uh, I wanted to see if it was going to shoot. If not, I wanted time I could get one ordered, get one on an aftermarket, a shilling or a whatever the case may be. Another ER Shaw. Uh, I got done shooting this thing. I, th I started thinking it'd be a crying shame to take this out of here. It was actually made for this action. This action has a box magazine that stays with the action. The other one you take the take it out and hold pieces all fall apart. Um, so shooting for the camera, a box magazine that works is pretty handy dandy. It'll probably have a, I do have a follower to throw in there. You can shoot it single shot when I choose to. Uh, went down and shot it, like I said. I'm going to throw the camera up above. I'll show you the uh, some of the results I had and what made me think that that 223 barrel is going to stay in that stock. All right, here we got the sky cam up. Uh, not only does that barreled action fit to that stock makes sense. That's a 50 grain, that's five shot, 50 grain VMAX. That's sub half inch. Right there, 60 grain VMAX. Sub three eighths of an inch. Uh, full metal jacket, that's right at one inch, five shots. That is just, I don't even know what kind of powder, throw it together, run it through the slam fire. This is stuff that I shoot through my AR-15. Uh, if you load for an AR, you know that you resize your cases in a small base die. Uh, that's as far from being fire form as you're going to get. Uh, I was pretty surprised at that. Uh, Hornady factory stuff. Uh, it could have been me. There's something I shoes there maybe. I don't know. Uh, the barrel obviously has a capacity of shooting. Uh, another thing I wanted to see... You've seen this before if you ever watched any of my reloading videos. Uh, it's for checking overall lengths. Uh, if you use the 30 caliber hole in here, there's about six holes, six sided all the way around there. Use the 30 caliber hole, it hits you right in the middle of that shoulder. That hits you right in the middle of your datum line. It tells you some things that are nice to know. Brand new factory, unfired obviously. I doubt if you can see that. 2.487. That's an unfired one. One that just fired in that barrel this morning. 2.490. Three thousandths of an inch. Fire that factory ammo in that chamber and it blew that shoulder forward three thousandths of an inch. I think I'm head spaced pretty darn good. Uh, that said, 223 is going to stay in the Bell and Carlson. I'm going to glass bed that sucker in there, give uh, some port to that first inch of barrel, inch and a half or so. Uh, you watch any of my videos, you know why I do what I'm going to do. Give me a couple of days, I'll get that up for you. Thanks a lot, folks.